Hey, Jess Brooks here with another video for you. This is a haul um, about a week and a half ago. I picked up this used lot. Everything you see here I paid 30 bucks for. Um, I've got it partially sorted out. You can see the different categories and things here. There's some decorated tiles, um, the tall bricks. Got some more of them over there. They didn't all fit in the cup. Uh, got some modified bricks, round bricks, panel pieces, uh, doors and windows, and then other panel pieces there as well. Uh, some containers, these ship parts, a ton of eyes for my brickies. And they had tons of those in there. These I haven't so are parts that I haven't sorted out all the way yet. Um, minifigure parts, animals, and accessories. Also, plants got mixed in there somehow. Um, let's see, I got all these bricks here. Got them mostly sorted out by type of brick. Uh, I got this partial set that I'm probably going to part out later. A whole ton of 2x4 bricks. As you can tell, it was mostly friends uh, sets. And let's see, we got some plates here. Actually, this isn't all the plates. I had a stack of these uh, 16 by 16 plates down at the bottom there. I have a stack of those upstairs that I already added to my inventory. And this was the non-Lego stuff from the lot. But I believe there were five five gallon size bags full of Lego and a sorter with some Lego in it and also a pick a brick cup which whoops all these um, studs here all the studs were in that pick a brick cup and had not been used um, they're all still brand new these one by two trans clear bricks those were also brand new in there um, some of the other pieces came from a pick a brick cup I got from the Lego store the other day. I actually went to a new Lego store for me up near Washington, D.C. Um, in uh, Tyson Corner. They had 139 options on their pick a brick wall. It's a lot better than the Annapolis store. But yeah, um, not a bad deal for 30 bucks. I believe. Uh, when I added all these studs and bricks, that alone was $58 worth of parts. Granted, it's going to take quite a while to, s to sell a thousand trans yellow studs, I, I would think. But, hey, they'll sell eventually, I bet. And I still have to go through these minifigure parts and pieces there. Those boat pieces, are, I believe. I think these are like two bucks a piece, so not too bad. And definitely will be good to get those into my store. And so I would consider this a win. Plus I've wanted one of these storage heads for quite a while, so it's pretty awesome. And that's gonna be probably it for this video, unless I do a little bit of my Lego store haul as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this haul as well. Um, all these plants here came from a Facebook marketplace listing. Um, I got everything there. These prickle plants, prickle plants, prickle bushes. I don't know how they're listed. I think they're bushes, prickly, something like that. But these prickly bush parts, these are all in very good condition for the age, not missing any of the, uh, the little prickles there and they're not badly bent so i was pretty excited i think these red ones are uh like a dollar something a piece and the green one is like six, uh, two, 260 a piece um got some of the old round trees what's funny is i got one each of the pine trees and this is an older style plastic with sharper edges 
You can see it's got bite marks and all in there. I got that all listed on my Bricklink listing for it. Yeah, I, I added all these to my store last night while uh, I was watching TV with my wife. And so I didn't add all the plants that I have. I still have the ones that were in that video the other day that I still haven't uploaded to my inventory. But uh, I added all these parts to my inventory last night. But it's I, I was saying um, this one's got the older style plastic with the sharper edges. And the plastic almost looks translucent. You can't really tell on the camera, I don't think. But then there's the newer version where it's a different, harder plastic, I think. I don't know. It feels harder to me, but it doesn't have sharp edges. This one's actually in pretty good shape. Not really any bite marks or anything on it. And then the round trees, same thing. See the differences there? This one's got sharper edges. And the edges on this one have got that, like, flakiness to them, which isn't perfect. So I've got that listed on the description as well. But it's got the sharper edges and that translucent, almost translucent-looking plastic. And then this one's got the smoother edges, and it's, it feels harder. So, yeah, they got all those parts there. I've uh, got the parts in this bag, too, which... Since I was adding them while in front of the TV, they're not they're not perfectly sorted. I'm gonna sort those a little bit better into baggies. They will go into the same bin as all those other parts. And these are the pieces I haven't added to my inventory yet. This was the whole reason I bought the bag. It's a cypress tree. They stopped making these. Um, you know what? I'm going to look that I up. just looked it up. These came out in 1979, and the last set they came out in was in 2001. They came out in a service pack where you could get five of these cypress trees. Um, I've wanted one of these since I found out that they existed, and they're a little bit pricey on Bricklink. I think the average sold price is around $15 to $16, but I... Uh, I saw this in the listing. The whole listing was $15 plus $5 shipping and $1.20 tax. So I was like, it's worth that to me because I'm not just paying $15 for the tree. I'm paying $15 for everything. Or I mean, ended up being $21. But I figured I would keep the tree and list all the other parts. Um, also going to keep this tree because it's not in too bad a shape but it's also it's kind of bent I don't know if you can see that there but I figured I'd be able to use that in one of my mocks as you can see it right there it's they're both very crooked the base on this uh, cypress tree let's see the focus the base on the cypress tree there is a little wonky I might See if I can uh, heat it up a little bit and bend it flat, but I'm kind of nervous to try that because as it is, it will stand up, and that's the big thing I wanted. And then, of course, these little pieces here that are left are just ones that I haven't quite taken the time to list. And then also, like, this piece is pretty bad beat up, and this one is chewed up as well. Those will probably go in my Apocalypse collection. So this is my Apocalypse collection. It's parts and pieces that are broken or just really beat up. This one's missing a piece there. This piece here has just been stepped on. And this whole container is just full of pieces that are broken and messed up. I've got a separate one for broken minifigures, minifigure accessories. I'm not even sure how something like this even happens. But, but yeah, so that's what I do with my broken pieces. Someday I might actually use them for a mock or something, and I don't know. There we go, finally got the focus. There's not really a good reason to hold on to a piece that's this chewed up.
unless it's going to be part of the apocalypse. So that's why I call it my apocalypse collection. Spooky time is over, so they're packing up the skeletons and moving on out. And I might see if I can find my uh, Thanksgiving scene. I think I got them packed away with my Christmas stuff. So I'll see if I can find those and get that stuff moved out for the next video. Until next time, thanks for watching, and y'all have a good one.